all about the bass. I'm Lee. I'm Cece. How are you doing? Hope you're hope you good. Hope you're good. We have some beautiful, beautiful basses here today. You probably recognise these things, but they're a little bit special. A little bit special. Hopping back to the originals in, from the 70s. Um, but we'll get onto that. Before we start, you know, while we're here, could please like, click something, click the things. <laughs> the subscribe thing. Up here, there's more videos, but that would be that'll be lovely. Thank you for doing that. Oh, I've just seen you. Oh, you did it. Ah, oh, well done. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. So, oh, Cece, what are your, what are your initial thoughts of these I like beauties? Them. I, I mean, the zingy, which is something that I always look for in a bass. Yeah, nice. I that, think they do that 70s sound really well, considering that's what they're based off. As soon as you pick them up, you kind of get that vibe from them when you start absolutely. playing, especially clean. Oh no, totally. Nice. It is a real nice, tight, tight, tight sound. Um, for, you, for you that don't know what this is, this is the Stingray Music Man. Um, now this is the 70s, so the, sort of the 70s uh, one they've just released. So instead of the, the, the new uh, models that you'll see, they've got the 18, 18 volt preamp. This is uh, at nine volt, so literally just the one, the one little baloney battery, but it doesn't, doesn't take away, as you, as you would hear. Um, just to point out some specs, String through the three, three screw Prom neck crown. plate. That, thank you. That's what, <laughs> this thing with a little micro tilt thing. If you were to so need, just to adjust your, just the neck. But yeah, really, it's a solid maple neck, ash body, one humbucker, two band EQ. It's, it's pretty nice and simple. Um, treble and bass volume, one pickup, big, big chunky bridge. Lovely. I think it's shallows. I think shallows. I think they were like. Sh yes. They're in the specs. They yes. are, yes. Shall I, um, <laughs> tuna, tuna's there. Um, this beautiful bridge, which does allow you, we're not going to probably play around with it too much today, but you can actually raise these uh, these mutes at the bottom. So if you really want to go old school, like really cut off a lot of that, that sound, get that dampened sound, then that's the way here. Um, but the, the weight on these are really nice. I was going to comment on that, because yeah. whenever I hear Ash Body, I'm like, uh -oh. that's going to weigh a ton. Totally. But it actually doesn't. No, it's really, really lovely. Really, really nice. To wear. And I think actually just remembering a few years back when they brought out um, a, a similar sort of uh, 70s reissue, as it were, they did come out and they were like, ooh, okay, yeah. there, there we go. That's that, that solid, solid Ash Body. But this is really nicely balanced. I was going to say, yeah, no neck dive. No, no, this is it. So, yeah, there's one more colour just to let you guys know as well that we're not playing here. Obviously, the white, the black, there's a vintage sunburst as well. So, have a look on the site if that's something that's interested yourself. But um, I think we should maybe do some tones. Mm -hmm. well. Yeah, would you like to take it away? Totally take it away? Up to maybe you, some, yeah. Like, yeah, like you're saying, maybe start with that, that nice clean, clean mm -hmm. sound. And then, as you see, Cece's got the toys, the toys today. <laughs> oh, yeah, crack on, crack on. Nice, whatever you do with it. So uh, you, yeah, and you're playing with like dipping yeah, in yeah. the bass and I, out of there. Yes, yeah. I mean, lovely. This is everything up. So oh, and then oh yeah, you're already getting a little bit of that dampened sort yeah. of sound without using the dampeners. I know. Well, that's nice. <laughs> It's brilliant. And uh, yeah, that, that, one thing, how are you finding um, resting your fingers? Because that's the yeah. only thing that's always, I've never got used to really, because coming from jazz basses, I'm like, I oh, know. where's the pickup to rest my finger on? See, I've been having a similar thing. Um, when I started playing, I actually played more towards the bridge. Yeah. But over the years, I've actually, I prefer playing 
closer to the neck. And now Ooh. that's not there, I keep finding myself go, drifting over. Yeah. I'm like, hang on a minute. <laughs> yeah, so I think even in that intro, I was sort of like, oh, sort of yeah. paying attention, but I think I was just free floating there yeah. with, with the thumb. Um, it's the, um, the different string tension as well when you're playing by the bridge. Oh, totally, yeah, but, totally. Yeah, you can give like, as you said, if you're right back here, I mean, it is nice and comfy to rest yeah. with the thumb down here, but you're saying, yeah, that, that extra tension down the yeah. bridge. Yeah, it is a nice tight sound, but yeah, I'm, I'm exactly like yourself. I was. <laughs> yeah, you start drifting over. Yeah, totally. And there's such a difference in sound. You, you, you guys are probably playing around with this as well, guys and gals, but like. Even just to give you that example. Yeah. that tightness like you know improving as you go down to the bridge but <laughs> th there are gizmos you can get now as well i've seen these i've got you know you can literally get thumb rest and things if you did feel that you know you needed to rest somewhere you can get those things to add um as a bit of a modification oh yes oh that was a good one <laughs> a bit of a modification you may add a thumb rest if you so wish that was better um <laughs> So yeah, we also just just talking like right, who, you know, who made these famous? Obviously, there's yeah, Lewis Johnson, Louis Johnson, um, Bernard Edwards from Chic, from that sort of seventies area, uh, certain sort of style. A lot of the slap thing that was really sort of starting yeah. at the time. Now, I'm I'm no slapper <laughs> to be to be fair, um, but I'll give you a go just so you've got the the, the the tone right, the tone, nice and clean. Okay, right, so bear with me. That, oh, it does. It does. It really has. And, and oh, just to mention as well, this is a little Mark bass I'm playing here today. Beautiful little, I think, one by 12 little combo thing. That sounds huge. I know, Even I'm with, loving the Galleon Kruger as well. And you've got the GK, yeah. Got the flea thing going on. Yes, <laughs> lovely. Yeah, oh, that's like 115. So, yeah, lovely. Just, yeah, just so you're aware of what we're, we're using. But that is surprising for me, actually. It's like Music Man into a Mark bass. Yeah. Normally, I hear the Mark bass stuff as quite... Punchy. Yeah, it's like yeah, mid range. It. Totally, yeah, punch, but that is still getting a nice, well-rounded, well-rounded, nice mm. thing. So, so yeah. Um, also, obviously, from the seventies, move on from the seventies. Like these things have been just taken up by all of the bass yeah. players that you you might love and enjoy. So, um, you got uh, Tim Comerford from Rage Against the Machine, which is a classic. Oh, we were like, just. Like, I, I'm do, sorry, do but it, it's gonna have it. to happen. You gotta do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That is the sound. I just like that raspiness that comes through, isn't it? It's like a proper growl. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, absolutely. You, everything to yeah, rage to but, tall. I think yeah, Justin, Chancellor, Justin uses Chancellor uses one. That's his main bass outside of gigging. So anytime Ooh. he's messing around, he's got short scale music man, and uh, all the stuff he comes up with is actually on that bass. Ooh. So that's pretty cool. And then plays the wall live. Yeah. Just, right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, nice, nice, and. Yeah, talking about slap, obviously the famous, made famous Flea as well in the 90s, or the, again from the 80s going into the 90s. You got that, like... Nice! It had yes. to happen at some point in yeah. the video. <laughs> so <absolutely. laughs> oh, Have you heard, you heard them play that live? Yeah. Oh, how fast that gets, that's just <laughs> oh, no. nuts, absolutely nuts. Um, so yeah, I, I basically, yeah, you can use this for anything, really. Obviously this is a 70s style bass. Um, we'll give it a bit of a bit of a vibe in the jam, just just uh, so, some seventies funk ish, you know. But as we're saying, yeah, this can be used for anything, and that for me is where my ear like sort of attaches to that rock yeah. sound with, with yeah. the music man is is huge, is huge. So um, yeah, so we do want to have a have a little experiment. I might just yeah, have go a, for it. Have a little little more play, like just just say bang the treble off on this. <laughs> God, that is 
such a percussive sounding bass. It, it's it, really yeah, nice. Yeah, it really, the response with your fingers, all those little ghost notes, and yeah. they really do punch through nicely. Yes. Okay, right, yeah, I'm just trying to think what it sounds like with the bass out. so much fun to be fair <laughs> you need a little bit of that yeah nice. why would you ever turn that off really but um <laughs> seems like a like a well, maybe a lo-fi project that you're doing or something like that but uh yeah yeah that is that is a nice little bass neck feels comfortable it, it is does, like yeah. a, it's a lacquered neck but there's no stickiness no. or anything to it, you know, no. like I, I, I feel. And traditionally, again, no kind of rolling of fretboard edges or anything like that you might find on, on modern bases, but this, again, not uncomfortable. Um, not at all. It's just I mean, there's really no sharp nice. edges as well, when you... No, nothing, nothing whatsoever. And yeah, no, you can tell that there's, there's some love that have gone into these Definitely. things. So, uh, so thanks for joining us. We were just going to have another little, little play around, but that's pretty much it. Any of the further specs that we haven't mentioned are all of them online you know all the little mm -hmm. details the fret types and all those sort of things the scale lengths if you so wish all on the anderson's website but give us a shout if you want to come down reserve this or just buy it you know we can uh, we can give you the the all clear they're good bases they're they good are. bases so um on that yeah thanks for joining us please like like and subscribe oh you did it earlier i saw you <laughs> ah no sorry it's already done Great. Lisa's Great. All. Oh, i do i do i do um so yeah Love to see you. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon. Ta-ta!